So, yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Lottie from Metal Temple Magazine. I'm at the Talking Heads in Southampton with Devil Skin. So, hi, guys, how are you? Today? Oh, we're awesome, thank you so much. Hey, 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 hey. Well, this is an interview first. This, never, <laughs> this has never happened before, so thank you. No worries, no just worries. Saying, okay. Thanks for having us. That's no problem at all. I understand this is your first time in Southampton. Yeah, totally. First impressions. What took us so long? Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, as I say, this is the new Talking Heads as well. Yeah, like, right. it's a bit more central. So, we had time to look around today. And... No. No. Uh, yeah. On the way into town, we had a little bit of a look around some of your um, awesome historical buildings. It's pretty oh cool. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, on, on the whole, no, we've been pretty much stopping here this afternoon. Yeah. We, can, we can tell you all about travel lodge, but it's just like <laughs> it's just like all yeah. the travel lodges. Is there, tra- <laughs> there isn't travel lodges in New Zealand, yeah. is there? No. no. Perfect. <laughs> you, um, so this isn't your first time in the UK, is it? Because you were here last year. Yeah. Last April we came over, we did two showcases in London and some recording and then went to Los Angeles and um, played at the Whiskey Go-Go. And, Whiskey. Uh, yeah, it's just it was insane. And yeah, we had a little bit of time in the Cotswolds where we were recording last yeah, time. Yeah, that's so. right. So had it. That's where you filmed mountains, wasn't it? Uh, no, we filmed that oh, back that's home. In the late... We recorded it there. We yeah. Oh, the, the right. Music there, yes, but, yeah, we filmed it back home. It did Zealand. look very beautiful. Yeah, it's <laughs> New Zealand. It's right in the middle of the North Island there. Yeah. It's a beautiful spot. That's it's amazing. Lovely. I was just going to wonder. Almost as cold as Southampton, actually. <laughs> About to say. Hey, the we- how's the weather over there at the moment? It's, it's like, hot. it was 22 degrees at 1 o'clock this morning. It's like being 30 plus when we left and we come to like... Two. I know. <laughs> That's yeah. typical British to ask about the weather. <laughs> yeah. There's been no rain, so we've got no complaints. That's good, really. yeah, yeah, that's been really good. And so this has sort of been kind of getting exposure to the UK and Europe all over, because I understand you released your debut album in 2014, and then you've just sort of, so it was like a re-release, or...? No, well, it was just released in New Zealand initially, so yeah, so yeah. now, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before, it got days ago. officially released in Europe, Yeah. but um, it's been out in the UK for a month or so now, and yeah. so the reviews and everything have been amazing, yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's, we're getting a really good response did, to the album. I did get a sneaky copy from your UK PR last year, and it's, yeah. been, oh, on, yeah. it's yeah. been playing on my iPod for oh, yeah. at least a year, it's by, been my fa- one of my new favourites, wow. so yeah. yeah. Thanks so much, that's cool. Cool. Um, so I want to know who are you musically influenced by? Because like Jenny, you've got such a really unique voice. <laughs> um, thanks. Um, uh, Mike Patton, uh, Dio, Jeff Buckley, um, Chino Moreno from Deftones, um, I believe Mars Volta. Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm more into sort of male singers rather than female singers. Okay, I play. Yeah, um, I grew up on a lot of like heavy metal, like that my dad listened to. So a lot of Judas Priest, Iron Maiden. Dio, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, between us, we've got some pretty diverse tastes. I mean, yeah. I love the old school stuff and Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, Uriah Heap. Um, I love Pantera and Slayer, and um, we, we've all got a sort of pretty much a, um, a a pretty good love for metal and all things heavy. Oh, but definitely. We all love. We've also got you know a pretty broad musical taste. So yeah. you know, there's all sorts of stuff. What we listen to in the we had the Eagles cranking on the way here today. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know. So. <laughs> It goes from the Eagles to the Doobie Brothers to Pantera to Slayer, <laughs> Slayer yeah. to Twelve Foot Ninja. That sounds like my own. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know, I, I think with musicians, when you love music, you just love good music. So yes. we, we don't have to be genreified, and, and you, no. we don't just like this or that. You know, we've all got yeah. pretty broad tastes. Seems and I think, to be a lot of that now, doesn't it? I think for a musician, yeah, you kind of have have to have an open mind. Yeah, no, Tool is the best band and the only good band. Ever. In the centre of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, there's, there's so much so much stuff that we like, and I think it just comes yeah. down to real, like, quality music. Yeah. It's sort of like playing in Britain, they're sort of like home to some of the heavy metal legends, like oh. Maiden, <coughs> Sabbath, like you were yeah, saying. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Our first show was in Birmingham, it was like the oh, birthplace yeah, of Sabbath everything. Yeah. From. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Andrew's the birthplace of heavy metal right there, wasn't yeah. it? I bet that was sort of like playing on a holy ground. It was a holy ground, yeah, we're like, yeah, we're holy driving ground. in. We're well, driving into Black like Sabbath on, on the stereo and just going, wow, yeah. this is Birmingham, this is like... Yeah, that would have been sort of like... 
it's where our heroes come from. Yeah, and, it was. And, yeah. And, you know, we're playing all these venues that have had these amazing bands that we just adore playing on the same stage. You know, That'd so be fun. It's yeah, pretty trippy. It's really I realize cool. some of the legends that you've shared a stage with all those yeah, years yeah, ago. Exactly. Yeah, it's probably not till we get home and when, when, when things calm down a little bit. Yeah. Because it's all a bit surreal at the moment. But when, by the time we get home and everything's sort of when we're not touring anymore, yeah. it'll be like, so we just did some pretty cool stuff, man. Exactly. Well, yeah. Um, so they, what have you like being playing in the UK? Have you noticed like any differences between the scenes in New Zealand and the UK? Um, over here, probably the biggest difference is they wear bigger coats and warmer, <laughs> warmer clothes. <laughs> but I think you know that the passion that that is metal lovers and and rock lovers is kind of universal. You get the same kind yeah. of folks coming up to our gigs, and it's weird because this band really appeals to a big cross-section of people so they they're quite often getting folks sending in videos of their five-year-old singing the whole album you know and and we're getting you know 60 year olds coming to our gig and having a great time it's, yeah, it's right. a real cross-section yeah. so and we've sort of noticed that here too if yeah. a bit of an older crowd in some of the places yeah and, yeah. and woman and guys it's just it's a big it crosses over that's, that's really really cool. I will say one of the our writers from the magazine. He's from New Zealand. He oh, actually wow. caught me on to you. Wow, guys. Really? You don't know a guy called Daniel Fox. Daniel Fox of Bell. Yeah, he says he knows. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think we've been speaking on on the internet. A little on the internet. Bit. Yeah. So yeah. where about some New Zealand is he from? I can't remember. I think it's oh. Auckland or Hamilton. Yeah. One of the two. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Know, cool. Exactly. But yeah, um, he says you're quite a big radio personality over there. Yeah, I, I've been doing a, a heavy metal radio show since 1987, and um, you started out on student radio, and then a, a rock radio station started up, and I was with them for about um, 23 years or something like that. It's been going yeah. for 29 years this year, so but I've just moved it over to iHeart Radio. But again, you know, it's a, it's a loyalist music, so everyone that that loves. Judas Priest and Black Sabbath and, and loved it 20 years ago they still yeah. like it and so I've got a exactly. a, I've got a, a, a real loyal audience who just you know it's the only place they're going to hear that music Yeah. so the, you know the, the show's been going real well and I think it's a tribute to the longevity of the music itself and the strength of heavy metal music that I'm, yeah. that I'm still doing it after all these years I think it's all like, like speaking to a very few heavy metal musicians in the past and they've said I think they're the heavy metal fan base is the most loyal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to say so, yeah. yeah. They are. They like to try new things in the metal community as well, and that's why these venues are important. <laughs> Very important. I mean, we need venues like this back home. Yeah. A few more places yeah. like this would be amazing. Well, that's to say, how many, are there any venu- are there like venues like this back home? Uh, there's one or two, but yeah. seriously, you can count them on one finger and two yeah. thumbs, really. <laughs> that's a lot about of... it. A bigger version of this is called the Power Station, which holds close to 1,100 people. Yeah, uh, which is one of the classic venues in the whole country. Yeah, if we had a few more of those, it would make things a lot easier. You know, these guys will, will sell out the power station with a lot really? of people. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's 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 impressive over there. Yeah, well, totally. I mean, when we released the album in New Zealand, and pretty much went on tour straight away. In the first week, it went straight to number one on the charts, and we we're all sort of gobsmacked. Really amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. And it stayed there for three weeks at number one. It went gold after two weeks, yeah. and it took about six or so months to go platinum, which yeah. you know just blew us yeah. away. So yeah, the support at home's massive. It's really really cool. Yeah. So how's the tour going? Been going here? Like it's awesome. It's been going yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 I mean, I understand you <laughs> haven't been feeling too. No. But, um, so yeah. like the flu or yeah, yeah or pretty much as soon as I um, got here like I think the first day I was all right and the second day I woke up with a scratchy throat and then just I got hit with everything flu gastro oh my just, goodness yeah um, fuck, I was she was sick. ill really <laughs> was ill. bless you yeah but, you I know, felt you, bloody you, sorry for her when we were in Scotland and she yeah. still did. She soldiered on. She yes. did bloody well. Yes. Yeah. So, well done. A couple done. of games so awesome. We, we cancelled one. And yeah. We, we'll we never had to cancel. But we fans understand. Yeah. That we really understand good. your health comes first. Yeah. yeah. Jenny, yeah. yeah. Jenny's our main priority. Yeah. Her health is, comes first for us. So. Absolutely. You know, we took we. You know, we did really well. She, if she anybody was at the Glasgow gig and they seen what condition she was in. Yeah, I know. They they all seem really pleased with how well you did though. Yeah. I mean, oh. it wasn't. Yeah. 
there. There were actually some fans that travelled down from Scotland to the London gigs, especially because they knew that Jenny was right. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. They came Aww. back down. Yeah. Well, that's a dedicated fan. Where's going? Oh. I was just swearing to sing and just, you know, toots and scratches came out. And yeah. <laughs> it's, that, <laughs> toots and scratches. it's kind of that time. I think here as well is that time of year for the whole coughs, colds. Yeah. yeah. Type of thing, but it's but you, and you take your chances awesome, when you hop on an aeroplane full of a yeah. whole bunch of bung people. You don't know, you <laughs> yeah. don't know who's going to give you what. So yeah, no, um, it's yeah. lucky because last time we come over, I didn't get sick. But yeah, there was like in is it April, May? Yeah, it was and there was like yeah. springtime yeah. around. It was hot. It was a heat wave. The railway that tracks were getting buckled when we were here last time. I think yeah. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. We always yeah. bring the sunshine, but that's why we can't. Yeah. Sunny this time, yeah. Sunshine and sunny lollipops, time. mostly. <laughs> well, that's not exactly wood, but it'll be, it'll be sunny to... Is this your second to last date? This is the last date here. It's the last date here. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Oh, you're tomorrow, you, yeah. Where are you guys going? And the forecast for rain tomorrow, did you know that? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you were playing Cologne, uh, Hamburg and Berlin. Yeah. yeah. So that's really exciting for us, obviously, our first time there. And like, yeah, but I was just say, where, is there any way you're looking forward to visiting in Europe? Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. 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 It's new to us, you know, so... Yeah, yeah. that's... Rome! <laughs> Rome! Rome! Pyramids. Like, and the pyramids. We want to see the pyramids of Rome. Yeah. Yeah. The pyramids of Rome. <laughs> and the Leaning Tower of uh, Egypt. Yeah, the Leaning Tower of Egypt. I, you know, I like, remember that one. I'm still buzzing out, looking out the, out, out the bus window and seeing crows. It's like, look guys, crows! <laughs> big, big evil black birds. They even sound like the ones in the movies too. <laughs> But you know, like every you know, every one or two miles you see a castle. And yeah. there's all these amazing cathedrals and, and stuff and so much history here, so yeah, we're just yeah. being awesome tourists. This yeah, place. but I see it's like yeah, I've lived here all my life and I'm still a tourist in London. Yeah. Yeah. It's good fun. There's so much to see, it's, it's so much to see yeah. in London. It's like it's good it's like and you've been touring it's Touring with Scarlet Wright, has there been any favourite venues in the UK that stuck Last on? night, yeah. Last yeah. night. <laughs> I guess you were at, the un- we were at the Underworld on Friday? Yeah, yeah. Friday. Yeah. Friday, yeah, that was awesome. It was yeah. great. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the Underworld's a really good venue as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's a ground for us too, you know, so many of our heroes have played there. Yeah. So, you know, it's pretty special. Yeah, that is a really good venue. That's a shame that like, loads of venues in London seem to be closing as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, growing up and, and, and reading about our favourite bands playing the Hammersmith Odeon and, and yeah. you, know, you know, Electric Ballroom and the, the um, Underworld, you know, it's, yeah. it's incredible. And, and I think folks over here are pretty spoiled yeah. because they can just go out and see an awesome band every night of the week pretty yeah, much. It's yeah, it's like, because um, Camden's sort of like the like the home of like alternative co- yeah. like subcultures as well. So. Yeah, yeah. There, that was but you know it's all real eye opener for us and I, I think when we um, um, these guys went out when we were in, um, playing at the underworld and, and yeah. came back with some food and went there's a massive queue outside you know? really so, yeah, there's a line like, around the corner it was crazy nice. we didn't know what to expect you know we, know, we didn't know no we yeah. have been getting some amazing reviews from the album and, and stuff, and um, that's good. Y- you just never know if it's going to translate to people through the door, but we've been blown away. Yeah. And there's always an, an awesome Kiwi contingent in the air. A lot of Kiwis come along to see us. Kiwis. I, I've got to say that the the, good, the pleasing thing from my point of view is yeah. the fact that the, that there aren't there are some Kiwis, but there are lots of Brits. That's which is good. Exactly what I want. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, yeah. After playing in Birmingham, they had people drive from Birmingham to the Milton Keynes show. No way! From playing in yeah. Milton Keynes, they came, they went up to uh, they went down to the Underworld and they went to <coughs> Evesham. I wonder you how know, many. We had people coming over from yeah. Holland for the gig in the Underworld. We had people coming down from Scotland. Scotland as well. It's, yeah. Sounds like you guys have been been you know they've been waiting for you. Yeah. Well, we've been. Waiting to do this. Waiting to do it, you know, we're yeah. we're to, to come here. Yeah. Yeah. Time is right. I was just reading your t-shirt, Jenny, I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sex, drugs and black metal. It's a um, <laughs> museum label, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Anyway, just to kind of round up. Uh, passing of Lemmy, you know, now the... Yeah. Yeah. And now, you know, there's a petition to get the... 
Jack and Coke named after the Lemmy, which you are, looks like you're drinking now. I drink it every time. Yeah, so we go there with that story? Let's go there, Let's go there with that story? Oh, okay. Yes, you can. So we cruised into this bar in London, um, so like our second night here, uh, and it was just around the corner, Escape the Fate were playing at the electric ballroom, and right. it was like a bit of an art, and our friends from Like a Storm were playing, supporting them, right. Kiwi band, and so there's a bar around the corner, they said we'll do an you know, after party there, so then Nail and I wandered in, straight out the bar, come with two lemmies, and the guy said... You got to turn around, he looks at me and goes... Just a heads up, mate. Barman don't like it when you call it that. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and there's a dirty little metal bar too, eh? It's and like, they, were, they had motorhead posters and stuff on the wall. I couldn't believe it. What drink would you like named after you? Crikey. A name, a drink named after us. A drink, us. yeah. I'd like to have my own brand of tequila one day. The pool. Yeah. Some sort the of pool. like nice New Zealand <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. The Jenny. The Jenny. The Jenny. I'm drinking the Jenny. Nick Meister would be nice. Nick Meister. I like I, I like that a lot. I think Vincenzo. Vincenzo. Yes. Uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Vincenzo. What's sounds like, what's in it? That sounds exotic. That it? sounds really exotic. It's just Jack and Coke. <laughs> What drink would you like named after you? Uh, I think um, I'm all about the champagne. The champagne, the yeah. James. Yeah. James. Oh, well, Sham James. Sham James. Sham James. <laughs> I like it. Shane James, yeah, that's what you That sounds like that's a ring to it. Shane James. Thanks, guys. It's been an absolute oh, pleasure. Thank you. Will... thank you so much for the support. Yeah. That's yeah, all right. No you. worries. Yeah. You know, we've become like a new favourite band of mine. So, for the past year. Are you stand for the show tonight? Oh, definitely. Oh, oh awesome. Cool. Yeah.